Greetings and salutations. Welcome back to Kind of Funny Games. I'm Kyle and this is Tim. Tim, yes. today we're going to play Zombie from Ubisoft. Mm -hmm. uh, people might recognize this game. It used to be called Zombie U when yeah. it was a Wii U exclusive. Missing a U. It's, there's no U now. And an E. Uh, and an E. There's no E. It's just Zombie. Yeah. Zombie. Zombie. Um, the game was a launch game on Wii U mm -hmm. back uh, in 2000. What? Wii U, yeah, Wii U came out in 2012. Um, and the reason I kind of wanted to play it was, now that it's on PS4 and Xbox One, is because A, I didn't experience it, and B, this is a very divisive game with some people. Mm -hmm. Some people really, really like this game, and some not people many. really, really don't. Yeah. And, uh, not Greg, many of them either. Yeah, not, and, 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 yeah, <laughs> not many that, in any direction. Uh, so Greg reviewed it when we used to work at IGN, um, and he didn't like it very much, and so I was just kind of curious what I might think of it and what you yeah. might think of it, kind of going in a little blind and not knowing really anything about it. Mm -hmm. um, still play for a little while and just see how it strikes see what's us. Up. Yeah. Maybe this will help people make their purchasing decision for Zombie, which is out right now on PSN and Xbox Live. What's really interesting to me about this is how little I've heard about it, about the the PS4 and Xbox Oh yeah, it just, versions. it, it, they kind of, they, I don't want to say they stealth released it, but it was rumored for some time based on some um, ratings boards from around the yeah. world that this game was coming. Uh, so we knew, but once they announced it, it was just like, okay, it's coming out, it's whatever it costs, and yeah. it's just them making uh, a little bit of money from a game that I think did respectably on Wii U, but probably would have done way better had it been released on something else. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so what am I supposed to do? Do I just push him away? Escape from the infected. Alright. Oh, don't want to go oh, that way. Yeah. It's a lot over there. It's not escaping. So it looks like you're right, in sort of like here. a... Oh my god. Subway area? Maybe? I don't know. Looks like, I don't no, know. Maybe I'm, more of a... I don't know. A complex. Let's call it a complex. Yeah. Oh, uh -oh. dear. So, first, first things first, uh, not a super pretty game. It's a Wii U game. Can I get on the ladder or am I not able to... There we go. Um, oh, Lord. Are they going to kill me? Your life's pretty low. Yeah. You just got oh, so, they're, so they're supposed to kill me. I don't like when games start like that. I hate that shit. It's like, it's like in JRPGs when it's like you have a boss battle yeah. and you're supposed to lose, but it's not really clear and you waste all your items and shit. And it kills oh, you and that I, sucks. I don't like Wait, kidding. so were you supposed to lose there or did you just die? I don't know. My assumption is that you're supposed to lose. I don't know what else I was supposed to do that we're going to find out, I guess. The, this game did that thing where you die and you play as a different character, right? I think that was the... Yeah, I think you die once or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Like how long will you survive, I think is kind of... Yeah, so now I'm in a different place here. Got it. Okay. All right. Amelia Davis, I'm a dancer, and I've been alive for 12 seconds. Now let's see. All right, so this is pretty like real life. Call him the dancer. All right, so... This is like shining, but as if you can interact with it, but... Get prepared, okay. Yeah, Pick up. That Dell laptop. Get prepared. Prepper pad. Okay. Prepper the prepper pad. Someone's talking to me, but I can't hear it through these two left. All right, all right. So I can watch over you, and you'll need it. I haven't a key card, but I think if you look at the map, yeah, I'm gonna go with it. See the green light on your smart map. All right. Cool. Generator activated. Now we can finally see that. This generator doesn't look like it's got a lot of juice. No. Is it just gonna flicker constantly? That's gonna be really annoying. All right, no. Very good. Can't see myself. Get that I'm a vampire. Boot. All right. So I'm in the bathroom. Can I shut this light off? There we go. This place is it's dilapidated so as fuck. It's so funny how instinctual certain commands are, like R3. Or yeah. on this, it's the right... Well, I'm playing on Xbox One, as you guys can see here. Um, just clicking the right stick just seemed intuitive. All right, so... Hmm. I'm assuming the mission brief... Is going to be at that computer? But there is something else you can use. That backpack. I'm going to lower up higher the volume of that. Bag. See? You need it and what's inside. Because I can't hear. It's the screen screen is impressive, Colin. It I'll is. Tell you that. It not is to break the fourth wall. Although I can break any fucking wall I, can, I want. Look at that. Walls being broken left and right. Oh, and up and down. Press R to use your torch. Hold R to toggle. Oh, okay. That's your torch? I don't think literally. I don't think it's literally a torch. Let's see. Huh. Okay. 
I mean, so far I'm kind of feeling the vibe. It's like you're kind of scouring and looking around. Yeah, I don't know. So far it's not grabbing me. It's just, it looks very, very run-of-the-mill, you know? That I don't disagree with. There's nothing about this that's like enticing to me. Planks. I just picked up some planks. Find your perfect car today. It's just a question mark? What the fuck does that mean? I don't know. Question mark. Find your perfect car today. Choose and go. What is it? Does why it is there? Over? Why are there question marks? Should we call it? I don't want. I'm more curious about why there's like. Did they forget to like put in the activate these assets for these posters? Like, why are there question marks? <laughs> I'm being serious. Like, why are there question marks? That's so bizarre. Uh, whiteboard. All right. What? Well, this B options. prompt. Keep, yeah, this B prompt keeps coming up. Where? Was it? Yeah. Oh, you can nail the door oh. shut. I see. Okay. Now might be a good time to try out your radar. Try out your radar. There he is. Wow, this game couldn't be more British. <laughs> oh. Oh God. Oh LT. Shut up! Good lord. Shut up! Your arms are so bloody. I'm looting. This game's ugly, huh? Yeah, it, it, it really isn't pretty. Alright, I'm opening up my backpack. And so far, its personality is not too good either. Now, let's remember a g the way a game looks is not really that important. Yeah, no, definitely. But, uh, like, state the of personality. State, though. We love State of Decay, which is a similar kind of game. It's not quite like this, but it's a zombie post apocalyptic yeah. kind of game, and it's ugly, and it's great. So. I don't want to act like I'm like really being that hard on it because I'm not, you know. So what do I got? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 for sure. I got handgun ammo. I got a cricket bat. I got a flashlight, planks, a pistol, and a medium. What was that? Oh, meta pack. Okay. And then my prepper pad, gear, my survival kit. The prepper pad is the ultimate all-in-one survival device. You can upgrade its smart map, scanner, and radar as you progress. Isn't that convenient? Yeah. All right. Oh my God, that looks awful. Yeah. That's so. Why is she holding it so awkwardly? She's holding it like. <laughs> That's how you hold things, Colin. I don't know about that. All right, so now I'm trying to go over here, I guess. So nothing grabbing you so far. No. Now you're not necessarily into these kinds of like open no, world games and stuff. Either. Yeah, but this thing, like with this though, like with zombie shit, like <laughs> I've seen it a million times. So it's like there should be something different about it to grab my attention. This just kind of looks like. Not good left for dead. Yeah, I want to be positive though. I want to. I want to. I want to find something I like about this. No, I agree. I mean, just. I mean, there's every game's got something you like. But I yeah. mean, I don't. I don't dislike it. I mean, I don't think it's that bad. It's just. It seems a little empty. It's a little old looking. Um, but we've not, you know, really seen or done anything yet. So, return to the safe house restrooms. Head back to the main room and take another look at the. All right, I'm looking. They're hooked into CCTV cameras all over London. This one's from a supermarket near you. But the more eyes you have, the better. There's more cameras at that location, so I'll, I'll walk you through hacking. Got a hack? People think CCTV cameras are secure, hardwired to police HQ. But they're wrong. I was a Royal yeah. Signals boy in the Army. I can teach you a thing or two about secure comm. Hmm. This guy does a lot of talking. Time for your first field trip. Those cameras won't fix themselves, and you need to do a little shopping. So I do like the idea. I mean, what it, what it seems to me, and I don't know if this is necessarily true, but what it, what it seems to me is that your character is eventually going to die, mm -hmm. and you're preparing and making things easier for the person that comes after you. It reminds me a little bit of like Rogue Legacy or something like that, where it seems oh, okay. like. Okay. Wait. So you think that this character will die, and then the next character will need to find this character's body and take the pack or whatever? Presumably that, and also presumably like, for instance, her task right now, our character's task right now is she has to go and fix these closed circuit televisions so that they can see on the monitor. So if she maybe does that, and dies, then at least the person can see use the. I mean, okay. that's, my, that's kind of my assumption, but I mean, who knows? Too many. There, all right. So the thing, that my my feedback about this is that there's just too many mechanics. There's too many mechanics. Well, here's the thing. Keep in mind the gamepad. 
That's true. That's a great point. Yeah, I wonder... Being ignorant somewhat... I mean, I watched Greg play the first one when he was reviewing it before the Wii U came out, but... Um, and him kind of just struggling through it. But I wonder what kind of... Like, how... This is not a straight port job. This is something that they had to do... Put a little bit of thought into. Yeah. I think. Well, because with the gamepad, I assume there's a lot more just, like, touch things you can do that don't require button maps and stuff. Oh, God. Damn. Finish, finish it. it. That was kind of underwhelming. Empty. Why are you giving me the option to loot if there's nothing on there? That's also a bad design mechanic. Alright. Oh my god. Oh god. Was it the one hit? The one and done. Stop, stop giving me an option to loot if there's nothing there. That's annoying. So this is going to be a key card. God, you just need to find a whole bunch of key cards. I think I'm supposed to be upstairs, but I like just exploring. I mean, this is the way I play. I, I recently... I'm, I just started playing uh, Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can do whatever you want in the game. You just walk around. And I'm just like going into everyone's house, just like methodically going through shit. I'm like, I don't think I'm supposed to be playing like this. But then you, <laughs> but then you think, well, you can play it however you want, really. You know? Yeah. So I think that, yeah, I mean, the green thing is telling me I should probably go upstairs because there's an arrow attached to it. Classic. It should disappear once I'm up here. No? Oh, oh I guess it's telling me the direction in which I need to go. I see. Okay. What's the orange? I never saw that on the thing. Is that like when you're taking too long? It's like, no, go here. <laughs> you dumb piece of shit. This guy's still alive. Not anymore. Empty, of course. Did you just kill him before it like triggered a, like him waking up or something? It gave me the loot option when I walked up to him, so he might have already been dead. Mm. But I'm going to take credit for the kill. Yeah. All right, so this guy's in here, and he's going to get fucking wrecked. Oh, I missed him. Damn. Take a seat, son. Alright. Soda. Yes! Finally, this game. Something I like. We're getting there. I love soda. I like how there's backpack slots. That's kind of cool. So you can't carry everything, which I always like. I like... Encumbrance can be annoying in games, but it's also, I think, necessary to keep it real. Yeah. And you can probably store things as well, but you have to be deliberate about the things you're taking. So, so far, nothing is really striking you? No. I mean, also, you said it earlier, but, like, just the amount of mechanics already here, I'm like, oh, God. Like, the radar and the, the like, whatever the hell that scanner thing was. Seems like a lot. That's the I'm interested in the idea of the character dying and the, kind of passing on the, the stuff. That also just seems potential. Like, that's cool for a little bit. Yeah, and there's... It's like, all right. There are there are some cool things in here. I just noticed this kind of mechanic with... There's a barricade here, so you usually we press B, we can make one if we had the proper, yeah. you know, the nails and the boards, but I need a hammer to be able to take these off. So there's mm. there's some, like, deep, I don't want to say deep, but there's there's deeper there's than meets the eye kind of uh, mechanics here in terms of protecting yourself and making your barricades and all that kind of stuff. Which I, I appreciate, but yeah, I think in terms of core gameplay, you have to keep it, I really do believe you have to keep it basic. Yeah. Um, but I gotta be honest with you, this is a, I, I'm, I'm, I'm so far feeling like this is a game I want to explore more. I want to oh, okay. play, I wanna That's play good. more of. So, but we have our key card, and now we can use it. And then presumably we can, it, can we only use it once. It, who knows? Because we ran into a few locked doors. Yeah. Put on my flashlight here. Long time ago, I teamed up with a bunch of no hopers called the Ravens of D. I helped them fortify places like this. Oh, it's rats. Because we knew this was coming. I'm going to close the door. Pick up ammo. This is the same exact thing that was on the board in the other room. I like looking at assets. Yeah. I'm like a real big fan of it just to see like what people are doing. Oh, God. I wonder what his story is. His story is that he's dead. Like, why would they hang a zombie? Cake. What? That doesn't look like cake. That looks like gum. Doesn't it? Yeah. And neither heal you. That's weird. Video game logic. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with it. All right. Is there anything else going on up here? There's a ladder down. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm strangely intrigued. Gotta be honest, I mean, I, I probably will never get around to playing it, but, um, beyond this, but, pick up, well, there was an option to pick something up. God, that's the other thing I hate. I swear to God there was a thing that came up and said pick it up, but maybe not. Yeah, there it is. Chocolate. Oh, cool. Sitting in a cake of, you know, in, in blood. Yeah. Caked in blood, good. All right. I'm going, I'm almost to where I need to be, I think this is kind of where we're trying to... Alright, so we're exiting. We're going into a new area now? Oh, okay. 
Buckingham. Bond Street. Shadwell. These are very British. This is intense. This, this whole... This is an interesting load screen. Well, it's actually not a load screen. You can skip it. Although, clearly, there was loading going on underneath it. All right, so now we're... John D predicted the plague. So it's not one big map either, which is not a huge surprise. And he saw plague victims in his own lifetime. Not even Fallout's one big map. To find a cure. Not at least the old ones that I'm familiar with. In terms of, like, you go into buildings and you're not yeah. going on the map. I mean, it is one big map. Clearly. Loot. Nothing. Why? All right, so this is starting to annoy me. Why are you giving me the option to search things if there's nothing in it? It's a waste. Use your pad to scan that door, and I'll hack it open for you. Okay, I have to... I'll get that for you. I'll block the place that down. That was really a dumb, safety. unnecessary thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you're free to go right. now. Give it a few more minutes, see if we find anything else interesting. Yeah. It just seems like this is one of those games that's like, do this thing just because. Right. No, I agree. It really does look a little aged. We're, we're becoming spoiled. Yeah, we, we really are. Dumpster diving. Nothing. But I mean, I also think that, you know, I want to hold zombie things, whether it's movies, TV, or games, to a higher standard because sure. there's so many of them. It's like, this reminds me of platformers that aren't Mario. Where you're like, all right, it's not Mario. Yeah, I mean, it's it, you're right in the sense that, you know, the, zombie and undead stuff is just so tired at this point that, like, in my opinion, that, like, you need to do something special to really stand out because I'm really, really getting quite tired of it. Now, I can't hold it against this particular game because this game came out really when it wasn't quite the way it is now. Well, just, I don't know but about that. But they are, I think they just went even further into the dead of it. Sure, but in 2012... I still could tolerate it. And now I don't, I really can't tolerate it anymore. Oh god, I don't know if I'm supposed to really be fucking with these guys. But I'm gonna. It's a lot of them. Uh oh, that one. Okay, we're getting into some fun. She's holding her own. I really don't think I'm supposed to be fighting these guys. Yeah. No, oh, but she did it. So resilient. Oh, God. oh my God! Go down! Oh, I died. So, oh, so this is an interesting thing. So this will this will tell us what we were curious about. Survivor score, personal best, time survived, fourteen minutes, forty-five seconds, infected, killed. Amelia Davis is one of them now. Oh, that's cool. So let's see so what happens. I'm actually, her. Yeah, so I'm actually glad to have gone in the wrong direction here because the arrow was pointing me away from those guys, but I kind of wanted to. I was getting a little bored. Yeah. I want to fight something. I'm curious before we end the video, like where what happens next? Yeah. Presentation's interesting. It's a little, yeah. a little hectic. But, you know, maybe we're not understanding quite the context of it. Alright, so now a new guy's in, in my bed. Now we're playing as a man. What is his name? He is... William Mason, Deputy Chief Constable. Okay. So, yeah. So he's saying that you still have to go... So it's, that's kind of a neat mechanic. Yeah. I'll allow it. Huh. Well, I think we've seen enough. To yeah. kind of get a feel of, it's, of zombie. It's definitely... Right at the end there. Got a little interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have fought those guys yet. I don't think I was ready, but... I think it was good. But, uh, there yeah. was some action. Yeah, there, there was, was some action. Stuff. Absolutely. So that is Zombie on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. We're playing on an Xbox One here, but you can also get it on PS4. And you can get it on Wii U in the form of Zombie U, the launch game from Wii U. How much is ago. it? I think it's, like, maybe no more than 20. Okay, okay, that changes things. But I could be wrong. I don't I don't exactly remember the price of it. I, think right. it's, I don't think it's a full price. Yeah, this is full it's price. Not available, I don't that. think it's available at retail or anything like that. Gotcha. This was a quick way for them to make an extra buck, and I don't blame them. I mean, it's been sitting isolated on a console that's not selling that well, and they can mm -hmm. certainly sell more copies. So. Um, so this is Zombie. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed our Let's Play. Remember, new Let's Play every single weekday at 12 noon Pacific time. That's right. Different permutations of the four of us here mm -hmm. playing games for you. Uh, let us know what you thought in the comments below. Share it with your friends and all of that good stuff. We'll see you next time. Till then, bye.